This is Ogre Dowski of We Are Change Arc here in Las Vegas, Nevada, and John Stewart calls it quits after 16 years on The Daily Show, and everyone's saying he was one of the best, greatest reporters there ever was. And some people saying, no, he actually wasn't. I'm actually of that opinion. Let me show you why. And let me explain to you how I think he's an entertainment-driven, propaganda-pushing, government bootlicking, corporate Viacom hack. Number one, John Stewart had private meetings with Barack Obama. He had a personal close relationship to him, and they were very close friends. It says here, John Stewart slipped away unnoticed into the White House in the midst of the 2011 budget fight. Summoned to the Oval Office for a coffee with Barack Obama. Obama. The Obama used him, cultivated Stewart to an unusual degree in order to advance the administration's agenda. Even at the 2011 visit, for instance, Obama used the meeting to kind of push his economic plan and lay the groundwork for the 2012 re-election campaign. Top aide, David Axelrod, even frequently called and emailed Stewart and described him as a useful prod for Barack Obama. And obviously, if you've been watching John Stewart, you kind of did notice a big shift when George W. Bush was in office and then when Barack Obama came in. Number two, John Stewart's mother says that she's proud of both of her son's accomplishments and successes in their lives. Now, who is John Stewart's brother? Well, John Stewart's real name is actually John Leibowitz. His brother's name is Larry Leibowitz. Who is Larry Leibowitz? He was, he was the chief operating officer of the New York Stock Exchange extremely well connected to all the financial crimes that have been happening on Wall Street that are even too much to mention right now. And then we all know how big of a Ponzi scheme the New York Stock Exchange is. Okay, so let's not be too hard on Jon Stewart. He did have some successes in his career. He was able to highlight issues that other pundits, the mainstream media would never touch, including the not 11 first responders. He gave them a public platform when both the mainstream media and the government were ignoring not 11 first responders, heroes, firefighters, police officers, construction workers, military men who came down after not 11 and rescued people. These people are lied to by the government and ignored and denied benefits that they were contractually obligated. Because of John Stewart, this issue became mainstream and helped pass the James the Droga bill, which in fact right now is actually being contested as well, but he did do a, a real service to our heroes of 9-11 and you have to give him props on that issue. But when it came to the issue of whistleblowers, survivors, and family members asking questions about the events of 9-11, Jon Stewart just mocked everybody with short little jabs at anyone questioning the official narrative of not 11 including family members like Bob McLevain, who lost his son in the attacks, who has legitimate questions that were never answered by the government. And of course, with John Stewart making all these jabs, we, we are changed, decided to confront him. And when he, when he was asked about Building 7, he just clearly walks away. I asked him again, why is he joining Glenn Beck in this insane collaboration with attacking anyone questioning the, na the narrative of what we're being told on 9-11. And he said, Why do you and Glenn Beck criticize the 9-11 truth movement? I don't know. If that was a damning enough, his executive producer Rory Aberson came out after they were doing a public event and punched my friend Matt in the face for daring to question Jon Stewart on mocking anyone who's even considering thinking rationally about 9-11. Well, the aggression at The Daily Show definitely doesn't stop with the executive producer. We have a former executive at The, at the Daily Show who said that there's a huge discrepancy between the Jon Stewart who goes on TV every night and the Jon Stewart who runs The Daily Show with joyless rage. So when I'm gonna think of Jon Stewart now, I'm gonna think of the Jon Stewart that was very close friends with Barack Obama who had secret meetings with him and helped push his agenda. The Jon Stewart who was against the VA medical uh, system but yet pushed for another healthcare in a similar government fashion all on us. The John Stewart that was well connected within the whole financial bank and crime industry that wouldn't even take the time to even seriously discuss issues like the TPP. What are you going to think about John Stewart when you think of him? Let me know in the comment section below. If you found this information useful, click the like button and do not forget to subscribe. All the sources to this video will be in the description below so you can fact check me. And yet again, thank you for watching real independent media stuff that you will not hear anywhere on the mainstream media. Thank you so much for watching. Hi, this is Alex from federaljack.com and Hack Miami. And I was arrested here for filming the police. They erased my footage, but I got it back. Here's my story.
any form of justice when it comes to a judge who's out of control. Well, these guys, Grant and Carlos of photography is not a crime are proof that that is not true.